I am so excited to introduce two of my friends here. I got an email the other day of something that they're doing that's really cool, helping out restaurants. I want to introduce uh, Jen Rahm and Elizabeth Miller, who are Georgetown residents, and they have started a movie called Takeout Tuesday. Um, I believe today is the first Tuesday that it is happening where they're trying to encourage their friends, their neighbors in Georgetown to visit local restaurants. And I guess I'll go to you, Elizabeth, first, because I'm understanding that this was your brainchild. Can you talk a little bit about what it is and how it all got started? Yeah, I think we all know at this point that the numbers are astounding. The food and beverage industry accounts for one in four jobs lost during the pandemic more than any other sector in the economy. Our local restaurants have shown creativity and resilience and are doing backflips to kind of pivot and try and keep themselves afloat. And I started thinking about my own personal responsibility to ensure that my favorite restaurants will still be around in the spring. And the best way that I think I can help make that happen is quite simple, is to frequent them as much as I can and spend as much money and probably even more than I can afford. Um, so I decided that I could sort of work within my own community to, to uh, make a difference, and that's how we came to Takeout Tuesday. So each week we will feature two Georgetown restaurants. We're talking to the owners about why they love Georgetown and why they chose to open up a business there. Um, they will have special menus, special deals, and we will drive our friends and neighbors to order takeout on Tuesdays from them. Um, so I roped in Jen because she knows so many people and has been part of the um, food industry and, and a lover of food herself. Um, so today we kick off with um, Peacock Cafe and Shia Taco. We do hope our neighbors will order from one of those two restaurants. And if you need more information as we go along, um, Georgetown Main Street is our partner and they can be found, all information about Takeout Tuesday can be found on their website at georgetownmainstreet.com. That is awesome. You know, Tommy and I, we love our restaurants. I have a special look, Tommy, there we are on, on Peacock Cafe. On their Instagram. Who knew? <laughs> look at that. Um, but we've been talking about like you think about your community restaurants and you go to them for gift certificates for your charities, for your schools, and the answer is always yes. And the answer is always yes when you ask them to host something special, a special event. And now is the time when the restaurants really need us, the community, to kind of pivot and look and try to help them. So this is why I saw this when Jen sent me the email. I was like, yes, I'm in. Uh, so that's really cool that you guys are, are, are doing that and organizing it. What type of feedback? Um, I was on Jen's distribution list. Jen, I don't know if people responded to you and um, feedback that you've gotten. I would say every single person that I emailed responded back saying, this is the greatest idea. We're totally in. We're going to get our friends to do it too. And I think that it, it's, it's going to be so exciting for the, the restaurants and for the community to sort of come together. And it, it, Georgetown is such a village. It's a, like a little village within the big city. And we all know each other. We all know the restaurants. We know the shop owners. And we've got to help each other out during these times. So everyone seemed like this was a concrete thing that they could do. It wasn't too hard. They could order out and go and pick it up or have it delivered and take a picture of themselves doing it. And I think it's really exciting. And Elizabeth, I so commend you on the idea. And it's, I think it'll take a life of its own. Well, and it's so smart to get strength in numbers too, because everyone has been sort of doing like a patchwork mm -hmm. of all oh, order here, all order there. I know, you know, we do that. I live in Mount Vernon Triangle and we've been ordering around to the neighborhood spots here. But how many people do you have so far? And how many people are you hoping to get to as you're like building this, this takeout army, this is great. <laughs> well, that's an interesting question. My husband is very much of a metrics person and he keeps asking me to define success. <laughs> and I think we are reluctant to do that right now. I think we want to yeah. start small and hope that our numbers will grow over time. And just pushing people to order on a night they might not otherwise order will hopefully drive more numbers than the restaurants have seen. I mean, do I think this is going to solve all the problems the restaurants have? Probably not. But I think you're exactly right that banding together and strength in numbers and every little bit makes a huge difference in the end. I think and a metric is as long as the doors are still open. That's a good one. <laughs> and and if, if goodness forbid something happens to some of these Georgetown restaurants, at least you tried. You know, you and your neighbors came together. And at the end of the day, you you didn't just sit on the sidelines. You got in the arena and you tried. Amen. Yep.
Yeah. So I, I know we're doing a Peacock Cafe tonight. Um, also BTW, they have a 30% off uh, wine, <laughs> takeout wine. <laughs> Wait, takeout wine is 30% off too? Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Can we just for a second love on Peacock Cafe? Mm. Like Kelly's second wedding was there. We have spent, I'm sure cumulatively, Kelly, you and I, a month at their patio, <laughs> <laughs> maybe more Always. in our friendship. Yes. Um, and it's just a place where Shahab and Mazir who run Peacock and have done it for gosh, more than 20 years. They're just hospitality. They're just love. They're just community. When you walk in there, they make happy food and they're great people. So if you haven't ordered out, if you don't live in Georgetown, like I don't live in Georgetown, order out and, and have it delivered to you because places like that need to be around after all this. I think that's right. They're like family to us. They are. So it's time to take care of our families and get them through these really hard times. So Order out as much as you can, and hopefully it'll catch on. I think you should start it in Mount Vernon Triangle, Tommy. I think that's not a bad idea. I'm already that person who's like, we got to keep the streets clean. And like, let's fix Cobb Park. And so they'll totally expect it from me if I'm like knocking on my neighbor's door. So I'll be like, oh, that guy again. I'm like one step away from like starting a neighborhood watch. Like they're they're like, this guy's a little too involved. <laughs> Back off. All this eating, we're going to have to do like, you know, gym Fridays or something. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's also what's so great is that you get a great meal out of it. It's no, there's no hardship involved at all. You know? Right. <laughs> you know, you don't have to cook on Tuesday and you, you know where you're going to go and it's all picked out for you. It's perfect. Yeah, that's certainly true. It's not like you're saying, Hey, let's all get together and go rake some leaves or shovel everyone's <laughs> snow, which you should do. But I'm just saying this is a little bit of a lighter lift for sure. Mm -hmm. No, I, I'm not as familiar with the other restaurant, Chia, Chaya. Can you tell us about them a little bit as well? I would love to tell you about Chaya. They are a restaurant in Georgetown owned by two women, women-owned restaurant, yes. And they started off at the Farmer's Market in DuPont Circle, and they were so um, successful, lines around the corner, that they opened up a small restaurant on Grace Street. And um, they're vegetarian tacos, all sustainable food, farm food. It is incredible incredibly tasty. Mm -hmm. And I think they may make the best margarita in town. So definitely order from them. It's it's hard. Maybe you can order from both you know, appetizers from Chaya mm -hmm. and dinner from Peacock or something. The food is truly, truly delicious and special. I, I can't more highly recommend it. So it's C-H-A-I-A, -A, right? Correct. Okay, cool. I have their Instagram up. I want to show everyone, but I just want to make sure I pull up the right place. Yeah. <laughs> um, like their food looks, and actually they have a couple of the locations around the city too now. Yes, they do. Very nice. Um, very and, nice. Um, one of the owners lives in Berlin and sent her kids to our local public school. She's lovely. And they're just really two wonderful people that care about the neighborhood. So please, if you can frequent them too. Oh, look, there's President Biden. Um, <laughs> take out lunch there is also delicious. I, I, I love this. I will be doing it. You post the hashtag takeout Tuesday. Um, I've already gotten the order from my, um, cause I don't even have to look at the menu at Peacock <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> so, and my kids neither. So we have it all set, but, um, uh, to go margaritas does sound delicious. I mean, <laughs> you swing around the corner. That's yeah. right. really <laughs> threw it down the best margaritas in the city. I think we need to try that. Just, I think that just, we just need to prove that. So <laughs> for, for, for science, if anything else, we need to have margaritas from Chaya Taco just to make sure. I think there you go. it'll go with your mm. wine from uh, Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I've got a, I've got a, a controversial question though, for you, you mentioned Berleith. Are we like, are we looping in Berlin? Are we like going North Georgetown eventually on this? Are we going like Glover Park being like North North Georgetown? Like how how far does does your reach go as you're helping out with Takeout Tuesday? Anybody from town can come into Georgetown mm -hmm. for Takeout Tuesday. All right, all right. But Our so borders like, are open. The borders are open. Okay, so we're not just going our street and below. We're going all the way up as far as Wisconsin <laughs> Avenue, as far as you want to go. Yeah. To Maryland, ladies, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for doing this. I can't, this is a great thing. And just to kind of like put in my meal plan, just take Tuesday off. And, mm -hmm. and I should have done this from the get go because it's more scattered, but I love just having that one day where you just know that you're not going to have to cook and go visit your favorite restaurant. Yeah. We'll, and we'll keep you posted. Please. Yeah. We'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm. And please do read. We're interviewing all the chefs and owners at georgetownmainstreet.com. And they have really lovely answers to some of the questions we've asked, like, you know, what, what does um, hospitality mean to you? And they're just all really thoughtful people. So please do read the interviews and do take out on Tuesdays. 
georgetownmainstreet.com is a great place to get all of all of that information. And that's where you'll also be announcing the new ones each week. Correct. And we'll yeah. be spreading the word on social media and our listservs. And so stay tuned. Very cool. Elizabeth Miller and Jennifer Rahm, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kelly and Tommy. Thank you. Yeah.